Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you aren't new. Today I'm going to be showing you my school dashboard. Today we are going over how to make a functional schedule, gradebook, and to-do list database with custom note links. If you need more information, I recommend you check out my Notion tutorial where I set up my dashboard. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So if you watched last week's video, you know that I have a school tab on my Notion. So the first thing I did was set it up and make sure that I had my headings. I used heading three and a green highlight for all of my headings. Of course, as you guys know, I'm a very indecisive person, so these are not the final headings. And if you want to do what I just did, click the three dots in your right hand corner and you can just edit the format. So the first thing we are going to do is set up our to-do list database. So you're going to scroll down until you see table database in line and click that one. And then from there, I just played around with the format yet again because I can never decide what I want it to look like. But then you're going to want to edit the names and add extra columns by clicking the plus button in the table uh, database. Once you do that, you're going to edit the property. So click on the heading and then scroll down until multi-select or configure options. And from there, I added my courses to the courses tab and you just basically type it out and change the colors to you wish. Please don't come at me for my uh, colors of my subjects. I just been using these since I was a little kid, but you can edit yours however you like. And then from there, once you have all of your tags registered, they'll be registered in this database. Then you can change the properties of your other database. So as you can see, I select due date, I changed it to a calendar property, and the completed, I changed to a due list property. And that's kind of what it looks like when you're finally setting up. You can even type into the database, which is very helpful when doing assignments. Next, we're going to move on to grades. So as you can see, you're going to put another table database, but instead of putting courses, etc., you're going to put assignments and courses and the column for your grade. So again, I did the same exact thing. I matched the color code to the one before. And then after that, I created a column for percentages. So again, click on the column, press number property, and then it'll change to a percentage. Now, as you can see underneath, there's a place called calculate. You can change that to average so you know your general averages for this time period. I find it very useful for when I'm switching my study techniques. Next, we are moving on to custom note links. So as you guys know, I use Google Docs and online notes for all of my notes. And so I want to link to those notes. So what you're going to do is once you're done typing it out, select it like you would normally do, press the link option and then link to page. And once I did that for all of my note options, which means for every single subject, Subject. I just messed with the format, but I'm going to show you how we can spice things up a bit because I feel like something's missing from, you know, this setup. So what I did was I clicked on the tab and then pressed turn into and then I pressed a call out. And as you can see, it kind of pops it out and creates this gray text box around it. And you can change the emoji. So what I did was like match the English emoji to a book and the French, etc. And I also changed the color. So now we kind of have like a rainbow link like station. And I felt like that made it so much prettier and just as a simple way to spice up your notion dashboard or your school setup so that's what i did for my notes uh, options so the next thing we are going to set up is my schedule so what you're going to do is click on that database tab once again but instead of clicking a table database you're going to click a timeline and from there you can edit it basically any way you like but i like to leave mine by month you can do it by hour by day etc and as you can see it's like a calendar type thing but instead of looking like a calendar it just looks like a timeline i think it's very useful for when planning um, a lot of projects or a lot of events at one time and i also think it's really cute because you can not only change it to like completed and not completed but you can just drag and drop them anywhere you want and again like i said before you can look at the entire month and you can change the aspect that you're looking at so as you can see this is what it looks like day by day you can even change it hour by hour especially if for if you have like an ever-changing schedule so i think that this is like one of the most key like functionalities or like key principles in your school notion tab and then after that we were pretty much done so i just went to my goal tab and of course i don't like to have really super long to-do lists so i just added some of my personal goals for this semester because if you are in new york city we just started semester two so of course this is like a really important time for me and so i just decided to create some goals just to remind myself what i'm working for 
And after that, of course, as I always say, no one's gonna use your planner if it's ugly. And so we need some pretty planners. So of course I added my GIFs, my images. To add that, you just click image and then add the GIF that you want it to be. Instead of going with the green, like I always do, I kind of went with this pretty blue one. I just really liked it and it still matched the vibe. And to expand it, you can just hover over it and drag it to the size you want. I also added this other GIF, which is just like, it's kind of like erasing your mistakes. And after that, we were pretty much done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my school dashboard setup. If you want to go see my other setup, you should go watch that video now. Or if you watched it already, thank you. And I will try to upload Notion videos once a week just with some of the key tips I use in my everyday life. But I will see you all next time. And hopefully you have a great semester. Or semester? Okay, that's why it's time to end the video. Bye, everyone.